pulls me to be honest. Um, it's like, I mean, how could we have done this? I can't take the credit. I have wonderful people who work with me. Um, real wonderful because it's a team thing. You need the right people. I think we we've, we've been very lucky to find. Put it this way: even setting out, I was lucky to, to find the right. People. That's very important uh, because I can't take credit for these things. God and the people that God has used uh, for us to be where we are. Um, I have incredible people, incredible lieutenants. We have incredible people who work with us. Fantastic guys. Even the fact that some of them have left, notwithstanding. Um, and and uh, we are very focused in the things we do. We, I, I, I'm not surprised that even when you look at the competitive environment and see the people who are doing very well, they've worked with us before. Yeah, of course. At least 80%. They have worked with us. So it must mean we are doing something right. You know, um, but we thank God for, for what is done in our lives. We handle conflicting accounts. Hmm. Uh, that was one of the reasons we even set out all these uh, the other companies. So they would compete amongst themselves. What is critical is that, and our clients trust us for that, is that confidentiality is kept. Company A does not know what company B does in terms of the break they receive, what they do. It's, it's fiercely competitive. Fiercely competitive. And um, apart from the fact that they, they belong to the same group, that's where the relationship ends. And uh, it explains why we're able to handle com competitive, competitive accounts. You know? Um, our clients trust us, and we don't hide anything from our clients, you know. Um, and this happens globally, by the way. If you look at the global companies, you look at the PPP, they own, they own an O&M, they own uh, uh, a grey, they own, they own all these companies, and they handle conflicting accounts. Uh, you look at Omnicom, it's the same thing. You look at publicis, publicis owns the bonnet, you don't publicis don't such and such. They handle conflicting accounts. You know. They own uh, Starcom Media, they own Zenit of the Media. Uh, it's that's the way the world is. You must be able to you must have the capacity. I think what is critical is having the capacity to be able to do that. Because when you aggregate the number of professionals that we have, it's it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, uh, and, and we invest in our people, we train them a lot. There is nobody in our business that trains as much as we do. The money we are spending is too much, even if it's getting too much. But well, that's the way it is. So. What were the challenges that I faced? Oh my God, many challenges, too many. One was money. Uh, when, we, when I tell the story of Inside, people don't believe. I think I started Inside with about 1,000 Naira. Uh, we had shareholders who put in 5,000 Naira. Because there were people who used to work with me. And I said, so we started with 1,000 Naira. It was very difficult. It was very, very difficult. Uh, we didn't have clients, we didn't have anything. It was like, I think it must have been some kind of madness. <laughs> Looking back. Um, um, but there was faith. I had absolute faith. I mean, put it in perspective. Our first year, ran the business at a loss, and I still promoted people. I still promoted. And I gave some of them 100% pay rise. And the, the other shareholders said, no, no, it wasn't going to happen. They were outsiders. I had. And I learned the big lesson, by the way, from that. They, because they put money, one of them put 50,000 Naira in it. Um, and they said, no, no, I couldn't do it. I said, no, you, you can't tell me how to run this business. I, you don't know anything about this business. I called you. So he said, okay, give me my money. But I said, okay, I'll give you your money in three months. Give me three months, I can pay you 50,000. Which I, this was our second year. In fact, end of our first year. 
because I went to the board, there were three of us on the board, two outsiders myself. And uh, I said, this is what I want to do, da, 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 promotion. And they said, what? You are giving people 25%, 50%, 100%? I said, yes. They said, it doesn't happen in this industry. I said, exactly. That's why I opened this, because I want to be different. <laughs> I don't want to be different. <laughs> so I insisted, the guy said he wanted his money back. So I gave him his money back. I know they big struggle, you know, big struggle. But you know, God kept faith with us. And suddenly we started getting clients and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Back loans, who will give you loan? Back loans. No bank will give you loan. <laughs> we are not here when I told you about when we wanted to wanted banks to lend us ten thousand naira for cars. To to buy cars for staff. Three, three cars, 10,000 naira. They turned it down. They said we were in the non preferred sector of the economy. <laughs> <laughs> so, interestingly, that particular bank, and we still use them, mm. uh, they appointed an MD that came to, he led his management to come and see us at the time. This was many, about, maybe about eight years ago. So, he came and he said, he told the bank, look, I want to meet our top three customers on the mainland. And we are one of the top three customers that they had. This is a very major bank. And he came and we talked, you know, they just wanted to come and meet us and you know, I wish him success. And he said, oh, by the way, um, they want to open a credit facility for us, a credit facility. And he looked at what we're doing. He wants to give us two billion credit line. So I said, no, thank you very much. <laughs> I said, um, I said, at the time, I said, 29 years ago or so, I came to this your bank. I wanted 10,000 naira. You denied me. I said, you know, this company would have died. If those staff had gone, if, 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 there wouldn't be this company, there wouldn't be this group that you want to mm. do business with. He said, but it was before he started, I said, but it's the same bank. Mm. I don't deal, I wasn't dealing with individuals, I was dealing with an institution. Yes. Um, today, banks support us, there's no doubt about that. We are too big. I mean, if I tell you I turn over as a group, you'll be amazed, but I won't tell you. <laughs> um, so banks actually must support us. They do. Um, but they do as partners. They don't. They can't harass us because we are very big. We are very, very big. Um, uh, at least by the kind of our service. Put it part One of our companies does a turnover of about twelve billion, just one, and we have ten. So we are not a small group by any standard. But we started. Sorry, stop stress. The your stop strength. You know, I've told you, I mean, in one of them is a man that yeah. I think we employ about 16,000 people now. 18,000. 18, 18, um, 18, um, so you can even imagine a salary bill every month. <laughs> but here we are. Good question, good question. You know, okay, if you look at all our companies, all of them, except the security companies, that's specialized. Every company that we have, you find that people who, who, who run them have what that is. That is the breeding ground, that is the training ground for our managers. All of them, all. Maybe the exception of No, I take that back. Okay. In the early days, now there are most of them, two, two or three companies where the guys who run them never worked that inside. If you look at Quadrant, Balaji never worked that inside. He never worked that inside. Um, but all the others, you must have worked that inside. That's where we train our future managing directors. <coughs> Because you must rise within the system. 
you must you must that's why we can put them there and sleep they know the system they know what you need to do they know the processes and when you have a company there must be systems and processes and tools to help run all of those things just what i'm saying and you know the the founding fathers of our companies have paid the price they made the sacrifices let me put it in perspective. The partnership we recently did with publicists required that their own financial experts look into our system, that they audit our system. They came and they said, this is not a Nigerian company. How? They said, you mean this is a Nigerian company? You cannot believe how we run our businesses. You can't. It's, it's, it's. Look, I'm the chairman of the group. All right? Yes, sir. I cannot, I cannot go to our finance department and take five naira out of the place. It's not possible. Jesus Christ. It is not possible. The system does not allow it. So it is not your typical Nigerian business. We are the company's money. And the expenditure of the founder, there, there's no difference. It doesn't happen like that. I cannot sack somebody. Out of those 16,000 people, I cannot sack. It's not possible. I may have reason to say that somebody should be sacked, but it must go through a process. And it must all be documented. So no managing director can sack anybody. It's not possible. You must give us reasons why you want to sack somebody. I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and nobody works for us. I am. Let me repeat. I am the chairman of the entire group. I cannot force any company to employ even my son. It's not possible. a process is it is not possible and we defined that we said that was what we wanted I said that's what I want that's the kind of company that I want now you you know I have relations once upon a time I had nieces they would not talk to me because I didn't employ them their parents would have I would say what you will do is there's this can you, I can help you to get on the starting block. Mm. That's the best I can do for you. But after that, you're on your own. Mm. So now if I do that, which managing director is going to flout that process? It's, it's not possible. So that's the way we run our business. It's, it's, 